in knee shield, you've been taught to get cross faces and underhooks. But on like higher level guys, cross faces and underhooks are like, they're probably not gonna work a good amount of the time. What everybody's doing today now, especially these new wave guys, is they're going double underhooks from here. So when I'm trying to pass the guard into mount, because from passing from half guard, you're always trying to get to mount, right? I'm always trying to get double underhooks. If I can get here, try to move, it becomes much easier, right, to start to pass guard and climb into some sort of mount position. Because when you have their underhooks up like this, right, she can't use her lat and her ribs. If I'm trying to control back and I'm not trying to submit anybody and I'm just trying to hold them, I go double underhooks. Seatbelt's good for submission. Double underhooks is good for control. It's the same thing in mount. If you want to just control your opponent, you want to go for double underhooks. So from here, if we know that, and we know that their bottom leg is more dangerous than their top leg, right? When I get to this knee cut position, once again, I try to get my chest to the top of her knee, the outside of her knee. I try to scroll back. And as I scroll back, I use my bottom leg to pin the knee to the mat. So try to move from here, right? Her bottom knee is pinned. The main thing I want you guys to play around with today is, this is not enough. This kind of Turk stuff, it's all in Craig Jones DVDs and stuff. I don't think it, it's, it's enough. From here, we go foot on foot. See how I go, now, now try to move. Just move. Right, like, let's say they're big and strong. They're gonna have to bridge. Go for the bridge, freeze. No, go for the bridge, bridge into me, push me. They give so much space with their upper body when they try to use their power, it allows us to start pulling for underhooks. So this grip is not gonna be used for anything but controlling them and seeing what your opponent's gonna do. So we're in half guard, right? They're in a normal, you guys get here all the time. Knee shield, common knee shield. From here, I take my chest, and I sprawl it down, and as I sprawl it down, I do a Turk. This is a folk style wrestling move. It's not jujitsu. It's better for control. From here, the minute I get to the Turk, I'm gonna go foot on foot, and I'm gonna make sure I can get both of my feet to the side of her ankle. From here, I'm gonna extend out. If she can't put her ankle on the ground, she cannot generate force. Doesn't matter how big they are, they may be able to generate more force than a smaller person, but from here, right? Now we can focus on passing, be it we cover knee lines and we crawl up the body, or we can let them start to bridge out, right? Once they give us the space, we go right back in, we get to our chest to chest half guard, and we go double limits. Let's try that. Three, two, one.